Okay, Medieval Cop, Adam and Eve. Kind of, uh, hinted at last time, I guess. You just had to make things more difficult, didn't you? All I asked you to do was stay put and none of this would have happened. Hey, this is not funny. I'm dying here. To be honest, I don't give a damn. I already got what I came here to achieve. So have fun bleeding to death. Uh. My, my, this has been fun, but I must move on. Take care now. S stop. Don't leave me to die. Look on the bright side. At least you're not dying alone. Isn't that right, Craig? Oh, come on. Let me hear some sarcastic remark on how terrible a person I am. One more time before you die. You're not dead yet. Come on, get up already. Ugh. Yeah, see, it wasn't so bad. Now then, do you have any last words before I send you to hell? Just one. I am Dreg Morris, and I hate the post office. You're lousy at last words. <laughs> Goodbye, Dreg. And a very happy birthday to you. <laughs> ah yes, in media res. I kind of prefer it when it's at the beginning of an actual story, not like in the middle of an episodical one. Eight hours earlier. Alright, wise guy, where have you hidden all the cookies? I know it was you who stole all the cookies from the cookie factory. Monster, all I have my morning beer with now. The hell I am. This lady just randomly attacked me on the street and dragged me down here. I'm innocent. Hey, Tiara, you sure it's him? Trust me, I have a plan to make him confess. I am very disappointed in you, but there's someone here who is more so than I am. What? Who? You can come in now. Look at how sad your mother is because of your behavior. How can you be so cold-hearted? That's clever. Trying to get him emotional enough that you make him change his ways. Who the hell is that? That's not my mother. Wait, what? How could you? I think the Lord that your father isn't alive to see this day. My father is still alive and well. What the hell is this? Seriously, what's going on? In the dear crimes already, before I bring in your wife and seven kids. I'm not even freaking married. Where are the damn cookies? Eh, you are going me. God damn it, Tira. Hey, so, when will I get paid? <sighs> well, that was a freaking disaster. Just one more minute and I would have gotten him to confess. How many actors did you hire, anyway? Greg Morris and Tira Lawford to the main hall right now. Great, they've gotten made Peru mad. He said your name first, so he thinks you're behind it. No, he doesn't. He will when I talk to him first. I must make a note of not working with her on a case ever again. So, I don't want to read the tutorial again. This interrogation room makes a great place to sleep without being disturbed. Sometimes, I tell people I'm working overtime. Actually, I'm sleeping here. This cabinet contains all the written confessions ever made in this interrogation room. Here's one. I admit to hunting the fish in the aquarium because I lost the staring contest with them. This is where the confiscated items are kept. I still think if we found someone guilty, we should get to take one item from here. Hold on, these aren't suspect documents. These are pages for a play called The Grump Who Stole the Christmas. The last page reads, And then they tied up the grump and burned him, and then they all lived happily ever after. She locked the door to slow me down. 
remember there being a secret key around here for fire emergencies if people couldn't find it. There it is. Now I can get out of this room. Who's up there? Not here. We keep the bathrooms near the interrogation room to make sure they don't have accidents during our department. This may have already happened otherwise. That wouldn't have been so considerate. I don't think going in there is such a good idea considering what happened to the last guy who did. May his pervy soul rest in peace. Welcome, stranger. What would you like today? I recommend the carrots since they're still fresh. Which layer of oblivion is your brain currently at? Move out of the way, I have to go up. Except all forms of payment. I already had six customers since morning. God damn it, Auburn. Let me through. People bought this stuff? The customer is always right. It's pointless. I have to find another way. There you go. Oh my god. I did it. Maybe you should make this a score. That's everything. Action, drama, and the chance to squash old people to death. Oh, okay, so if I hit no, I probably would have just smashed into him. Got it. What the? Why is everyone here? Hey, Groot, it was all Dred's idea. Fire him. Officer Tira, please stand with the others. Eh? We called almost the entire staff. What's going on? Everyone, what I'm about to say doesn't leave this room. Are we clear? Did someone kidnap the princess again? No, but we have a situation on our hands that requires utmost discretion in order to avoid mass panic. There have been five murders in Rydia in the last five hours. <laughs> Five murders in the last five hours? Is he killing a person every hour? Seems so, yes. We've ordered the guards to be on high alert and arrest anyone who looks suspicious. It's a serial killer. Do we have any leads to him or connections to the victims? That's why I called you all here. I want you guys to go to the crime scenes and find any leads that can help us. We don't know anything. That's why I will stay here with some of you research and find their next target before it's too late. I will stay and help. No, I want you to go to the latest murder which happened less than an hour ago and look for clues. Fine, but if I don't return, I'll burn down the post office. Stop being so melodramatic and go. We don't have much time as it is. Also note that we haven't told the soldiers in the crime scene about the hourly pattern yet. So you don't want to panic people. Right, then everyone, please be careful. We want to capture this guy before he kills someone else. Good luck. Are you sure you're fine, madam? I can have you escorted to a safe place if you wish. I I'm fine. Please, let me stay here and help. What the? This place feels different. Oh, Officer Drake, over here. I better talk to him and look around the area to find anything relevant to the case. I should talk to the captain first. Good to see you, Officer Drake. Although I do wish it was under better circumstances. What's with this place? I feel like I traveled to a whole new land. It's a museum dedicated to the Eastern civilization. My husband and I are caretakers of this place. This person is Miss Hepper, the wife of the deceased. Why would someone kill my dear husband? He wasn't hurting anyone. That's why I'm here to find out. Please stay put till I finish my investigation. I have questions for you. Uh, of course. All right, let's begin. How did Mr. Hepburn die? He was stabbed through the eye with this pair of scissors. And maybe some of the blood got on the killer's clothes as well. Let me look at those scissors for a moment. This is a weird looking pair. This could be the signature weapon of the serial killer. I should keep this in mind. Hmm. Looks like garden shears. Anything else? Mrs. Hepburn said 
did saw the crime being committed, but from the other side of this curtain. So she only saw silhouettes, and she doesn't remember much due to the shock. I guess I better look around and get more leads on the killer. We don't have much time before the psycho kills again. What is this, a logbook? The museum keeps records of the people who came and went. Let's see, it looks like someone did come in here this morning. A person called Lady Lala. That has to be a fake name. It's a bottle of something. Ah, what the hell is this, poison? Oh wait, there's a label. Beer medicine. I should remember to look for labels first. I came here with my son once. Be careful, my friend. Their food is not for the weak. There are papers all over the floor. It seems the victim dropped it after he was stabbed. It's impossible to read these because the blood is dried up and the pages are stuck together. Wait, does blood usually dry this fast? I better make a note of this place. How much blood does a person need to have shoot from this? Need to have to shoot this much blood so far from the body? Stabbed in the left eye. What a terrible way to go. There doesn't seem to be any signs of a struggle. Though. I don't see anything unique about this guy. I won't know until the data about the other victims comes through. There's so much of the blood here, too. The killer could have touched this curtain after the murder. If I don't have a proper way to identify fingerprints yet. What the hell? This is a tree, but why is it so small? Is this how tall people are over there? I'm not racist, but... Shut up. Nothing good ever comes after those words. <coughs> what the? This is a sliding door. I tried opening it like a regular one and crashed head on into it. It's blowing the door. Killer went in this room for something. Maybe the item is the connection between victims. There are many scrolls here written in a language I've never seen before. Damn museum, making me learn stuff. There's a showcase displaying like dishes and mater materials I've never seen. This window is broken. Considering the side of the hole, the killer may have entered or left through this window. The killer's a bit slim, but otherwise there would have been cuts on the clothes that would have left pieces on the shards. Alright, no glass here, which implies that it's the exit point, although... Are there no windows in here then? Alright. There's a cupboard of some kind. Tempting. I guess it's just for show. But they sure kept it clean from the inside and outside. I should later ask what cleaning agent they used. What's this? Kick. Ah, what the hell? This thing is freaking louder than a duck standing up for elections. Please be careful. The gong is an original from the east and it is very loud. That information would have been useful ten seconds ago. Okay, nothing with the door. Let me know if you need anything else. Do you have something to drink? I finished my ball before coming here. Curses. I know this is difficult for you. I would like to ask you some questions. Of course, anything you need. The captain said you might have seen the killer. Yes, I was in the bedroom, which is up from here, behind those curtains when I heard loud noises of arguments. Any idea what they were talking about? The other guy was yelling, where did you hide it? And my husband was telling the person to get out. So we're sure the killer was male. Any clue what item he was looking for? No, but it sounded like he was desperate. Besides, me and my husband are only the caretakers of this place. The owner is out of town for a couple of weeks. Did the killer assume the old man was the owner and kill him? So, then the owner might be his next target. Ma'am, could it be that the killer's real target was the owner? If so, they could be in danger. The owner is out of this continent, let alone the country, so contact is next to impossible. I see. And for now, please tell me what happened next. I came in here to check out the commotion when I saw their silhouettes, my husband and his killer. Before I could react, that person stabbed my husband in the eye. I panicked and quickly hid in the cupboard near the gong. What did he do next? He must have gone in the bedroom because I could hear the door opening and after some time he came out. Did you find what he was looking for? I... 
I don't think so, because he sounded angry, and then he left after breaking that window and jumping out. I know you only saw a silhouette, but can you tell any features of this guy that stood out? I don't think so, except the fact that the person was wearing loose clothing so I couldn't make out his shape. Alright, thanks for your cooperation. I will notify you when something comes up. I hope you bring my husband's killer to justice. Hmm. I think I looked around enough for now. I should get, begin back with all the information I've collected. Okay, you're leaving already? I'm afraid this case is more complicated than it seems. I need to look into it more. Should I come with you? Maybe I can help. What are you? My mother? No, I need you to stay here and be on guard in case the killer comes back. Fine. Why would he come back anyway? Because his target might have been the owner of this place who's out of town at the moment. I'm home! Eh? What is the police doing here? Madam Tang, you're back! Yes, I just came straight from the docks. What is... Eh? Uncle Hepburn? Oh no! Doop. Rest in peace, Uncle Hepburn. I'm so sorry for what happened, Auntie. Please, Madam Tang, don't blame yourself. It was just an unfortunate turn of events. Are you the owner of this place? That's right. My name is Nancy Tang, and I'm the owner of this museum of Eastern Civilization. Miss Nancy, we have reasons to believe that you were the original target of this attack. Eh? Why was someone after me? We were hoping you could tell us. The killer seemed very desperate for something you have. All the artifacts I have brought from my homeland is right here, in this room. I can't think of any reason why someone would want any of it. There must be something for him to come down here and kill for it. You're being awfully dedicated today, Captain. I think Miss Nancy likes me. I'm trying to woo her. During a murder investigation? Either you're too drunk or not enough. Do you think she'll go out with me? In your dreams. No, in your dreams dream. You need to change your perspective about this. Change your perspective. That's it. Miss Nancy, can you give me a tour of all the artifacts here? Eh? Sure. But now, in the middle of this? There are many things here that I don't understand due to cultural differences. Maybe properly knowing them is the key. I have no idea, sir. May I take your place? No. Stand with the old lady for now. I'll be back in a bit. Let's go. Of course. Right this way, please. Hem. Please write your name on the logbook first for tax purposes. I noticed her name written for today. Any clue who Lady Lala is? Eh? There's already a name written on it? The museum doesn't actually open for another hour or so. I don't know who this lady is, but she isn't one of our regular customers. Any other unusual activity you can think of written in that book? Sorry, I don't. Never mind. Let's just go to the first exhibit. Right. There she is. Feast your eyes on the Chow Gong. It's the thing that almost tore my eardrums. Oh, yes, these things are very loud, and this one makes some small noises even with a delicate hit. What's the purpose of this thing? Signaling people, the sound from this gong can travel up to two miles. What's the signal for burning down a post office? What? Never mind. What about the cupboard? Well, it's just a cupboard. It was really hard bringing this thing so far here considering how delicate it is. I seem to have been taking good care of it. Not a speck of burden on it. Poor Mr. Hepburn. I'm so sorry. Can you postpone the crying session until we're until after we're done with the tour? I can sense you're not a sympathetic man. Did something bad happen to you as a child? Why does everyone keep saying that? There's a killer on the loose and I need to hurry. Hmm. Fine. Please drop by later for some herbal tea. It'll help you remember those awful memories. You must be fun at parties. These are sliding doors, which are commonly used in the Eastern Civilization. How do you get used to these doors? I crashed on it head first trying to open it. I had the same problem with your doors when I came here. How about those two cupboards there? Is something wrong? Sorry, it's just I can see the body from here and it saddens me. I'm surprised the killer didn't see her. 
That's because the other side of this curtain is coated with a special dye. These types of curtains are used by officials holding secret or important meetings while keeping an eye for spies. I guess the old lady was lucky. You might have to throw it away now because of the blood on it. That's what you're concerned about? This little tree is the cornerstone of our tour. The Panzai. It's a tiny tree. That's one way to put it. These are a beautiful art form which has also advanced into other regions like Bonsai and Saikai. Saikai. How do you manage to keep these trees so small? It's a lengthy process of restraining its growth and pruning out the extra branches with special equipment and clippers. I see. I think I've seen enough. Oh, was any of the tour helpful? More than you think. Thanks for your help. I hope you succeed. Hey, Dreg, you here? What the hell are you doing here? I came here to compare the details of the other murder for reference. That's a good idea. Come here a second. What the hell is this? None of what you found matches my crime scene. Is the killer changing it up as he goes? No, it just proves my theory. I should go talk to the captain now. Alright, save real quick. Lag. What's up? Oh, alright. Officer, did you find any leads? As a matter of fact, I did. That's great. Wonderful. What is our next step? For starters, I'd like to ask you a personal question, Mrs. Hepburn. Of course. Please start by telling me if you lie every day, or is today a special occasion? Eh? What? Officer Dreg, that was very rude of you. It was a clever plan, making it look like the serial killer did it. You must have heard it through the grapevine and decided to make it look like the killer did it. How dare you! I love my husband! Officer Dreg, what makes you so sure that she did it? A couple of things, actually. Let's talk about it. Start with something simple that's been bugging me, the murder weapon. Also, uh, specifically mentioned was the window being not uh, covered in fabric from the clothes which are according to her baggie. But what about it? Are you sure you haven't seen the murder weapon before? N no, how would I? Because I'm sure this weapon was always here and it doesn't belong to the killer. Th then tell me, why would I have it? Scissor in a central pool for the bottom line. Miss Nancy, isn't this weapon used to trim your pen's eye? What? Let me see. Hey, these are the same scissors. Mrs. Hepburn, why can't you recognize it? Oh, um, now that I look closely, it does resemble the pen's eye clippers. I made a mistake. I was in shock due to my husband's death. What do you expect? We'll see about that. But let's move on to the testimony you gave us. What about it? I told us you hid in the cupboard when you were coming against the murder, am I correct? Yes, I was scared. People get scared, so what about it? Well, you told us about it. You did what this person says. And me? Yes, and you showed me the cupboard. You said it was well maintained. So my fault is keeping it clean? No, it shouldn't be clean at all considering a person hid in there. I'm very hygienic. Miss Nancy also described the cupboard as delicate. Supported person's weight? It would, but it would crack the cupboard a little. I don't believe this. It's all just speculation. Where's your proof? Here's a small pop quiz for you. Which eye was the victim stabbed? Oh, dang it. That's right, the left eye. So look at the victim's body position. Now tell me, where should the blood from him where the should the blood from the him should have fallen? Wait, as I look, shouldn't the blood on the floor be on the floor and not on the curtains? There's also one more thing that stands out due to her false testimony. Alright. Oh, right, okay, the time of death. Okay, how do you know she lied about the time of death? This evidence proves that Mr. Hepburn died way earlier than an hour ago. No way that amount of blood dried so quickly in less than an hour. 
my experience, he was killed a couple hours earlier, probably even at night. Um, I, I passed out due to the whole ordeal, and I woke up this morning. That's why I misjudged the timing. You just have all the answers, don't you? Officer Greg, why would he hurt Mr. Hepburn in the first place? It's probably something to do with the blood papers. The blood has washed out most of what was written on it. Greg, let me see this for a moment. I recognize some of these words. Officer Greg, these are divorce papers. How could you possibly know that? I have three of these my ex-wives. I have prepped and I have been framed as memories. Both sad and disturbing. Ignoring that conversation. What do you have to say for yourself, Mrs. Hepburn? But, but it wasn't me, I swear. It was the serial killer. I was hiding in the closet the whole time. So you say, your testimony contradicts with a couple pieces of evidence. Eh? Like everything about the killer, at one point it contradicts heavily with the evidence on hand. You lied about the killer's clothes. His clothes? Why does it matter? According to you, the killer is wearing loose clothing. So this contradicts with the broken window. The broken window was too narrow for someone wearing loose clothing. The clothes will get stuck on the shards. Yet there wasn't a single thread on the window pane. I always said I was scared. Maybe I didn't see well. All I know is that I was hiding in the closet when he came out from the room, smashed the window, and left. Let me point out why this isn't possible. Eh? The killer has never been to this house considering how blindly he searched for something. So how did he know about... Okay, I guess it wasn't, uh, smashing the song as leaving. Uh, the doors. The sliding doors? What's wrong about that? Exactly. What? You've gotten so used to these doors that you didn't even notice that an outsider wouldn't know about it. Uh, oh. The killer couldn't have opened the door on the first try if he or she didn't know about it beforehand. Then, then... It must have been her. Mrs. Hepburn, how could you? It, it makes perfect sense, right? She knew about this place, she also had access to the scissors, and she is skinny enough to go through the hole. What has gotten into you? Why are you freaking out like that? Besides, isn't it suspicious that she returned on a date, same day from another continent when my husband is dead? How would she do that? Why don't you ask her? Concerning the evidence, isn't she the more likely suspect? No, Mrs. Hepburn, it was you. You killed your own husband. What? But, but... I still have one more evidence that proves the killer never escaped from the window. But I heard it. Well, if you Nancy, you would have known you were in the house. Secondly, you could have just left through the door. Uh, fine. It's not her. But I know what I heard. The killer left through the window. Tiara, could you do me a favor? Eh? Smash the rest of the broken window. What? Why? Just do it for now. Fine. I'm ready. Miss Hepburn, I've already mentioned how living here has gotten you used to many of the artifacts here. While making the story up, you left out a crucial part without which the story failed. If the killer went out that window, this evidence would have reacted to it. <coughs> Tiara, smash it. Prepare to make your wake. Ah, prepare to meet your maker window. <laughs> Couple of shards flew and hit the gong. Ah! There's no way hiding in that closet next to the gong with such a distinct sound will leave your memory. Yet you failed to mention such an important detail. Please tell me why you did not remember this brain rattling sound. Miss Hepburn, why? Why, you ask? Because that old bastard wasn't letting me go. Wait. You brought the divorce papers? Of course I did. We were living the good life as loan sharks. Every day, people would bow to me. But something happened. I pressured one of his clients too much and he ended up taking his life. So I guess your husband decided to stop everything and turn over a new leaf. I thought it was just a phase and it will soon all blew over. But he'd never have turned back. We left everything and started working here as caretakers as a way to make amends to the man who killed himself. Wait, you mean my dad was... He decided to come clean with you about everything when he returned, and he was also going to shut down our business. He was expecting me to do the same, so I decided to divorce him and do the business myself. But instead, he threatened to turn me in if I didn't stop. 
I was so angry that I snatched these clippers, and by the time I came to my senses, he was lying in a pool of his own blood. The one problem in your plan was that you didn't expect Miss Nancy to come home today. Miss Hepburn, you are under arrest for the murder of Mr. Hepburn. <laughs> you peasants are just unable to see the big picture of things, that's all. You okay? Considering what happened, it'll take some time to recover. Next time, try to do a background check before hiring someone. You have no idea what delicacy is, do you? I say what I think. Well, I'm off to a hotel for now. I guess this place won't open for a couple of days at least. Where's Officer Tira? She has to use the ladies room. I'll leave it to you guys to lock up this place. No promises. Thank you, Officer Dredd. Let the souls of my father and Mr. Hepburn can rest in peace now. Alright, where is it? Eh? Where's what? The bottle of booze I asked you to buy for my birthday. What? Is your birthday? Of course it is. Did you forget already? We discussed everything yesterday. Oh, uh, I must have forgotten considering the situation we have. You're drunk right now. Don't lecture me. But, but sir, the serial killer is killing a person every hour, so shouldn't we be more focused? How did you know? Eh? How did you know that the murders are being committed every hour? That information is only known to us. Oh, that, that that's because Officer Tira told me. She's an energ energetic cockroach, but not an idiot. She wouldn't disclose such confidential information. Who are you? Why is it always you? No way. You're... My, my. It's so good to see you again. Hello again, Dreddy. Eva. You sold her from Balbo and killed her lawyer, Eva, and tried to get back with the princess. Aw, you remembered me. I'm glad. You're a spirit Why did you decide to suddenly do this? Hey, Dreddy. Think fast. <coughs> what? No, you have goddamn place. <coughs> I learned from our last encounters. I thought you should be the very first person I need to meet for last. Damn it. You know what I've never forgotten? No, I've never forgotten you either. The how a person doesn't forget their biggest failures. Everything was going fine until you tech on. Not too long. I will get that bastard. What are you talking about? Does it matter? You should be more concerned about your well-being. I mean, no one knows we're here. Eh? Poor Dreggy. About to die alone with the other... with the one person he could never catch. Me. Eva. Why are you here? Were you waiting for me? Yes, I was. I wanted you to see as I carve out your heart and fed it to the rats. Joke's on you. The rats will die if they took even a bart... if they take even a bart of my heart. Goodbye, Grump. I hope you burn in hell. Hey, sour grapes. What the? When did you... Special delivery, bitches. Uh, I told you the last time we met, I will catch you. Payback, bitch. This is the weirdest birthday I've ever had. Even weirder than the one where my parents tried to divorce me. Actually, you know what? I think this is a good place to uh, cut it. 